when we do five minutes of nice, strenu- nice, you know, um, excited walking, where we're walking at a nice pace, we do some deep breathing exercises, as little as five minutes, we are encouraging the shifting of into the parasympathetic nervous system. And in turn, that oxygen is going to be shunted out of our arms and extremities, our arms and legs, back into our organs and into our brain, therefore stimulating the activity in our prefrontal cortex, allowing us to tap into our deep reservoir of willpower. That is awesome. Willpower is depletable, but we can stay in front of it by just calming ourselves. And you refer to the parasympathetic nervous system as the calming, healing nervous system. It absolutely is just that. And, if, you know, it's interesting to me. When we say a prayer before we uh, yeah. enjoy a meal... That's parasympathetic. We are, we are taking an opportunity to shift into our parasympathetic, awesome. which is going to allow yeah. that food to nourish our bodies better. Yep. Gratitude, same way. Anything, any of those, any of the virtues, really, right? Patience, gratitude... The high, Love. the high vibration emotion. That's, that's awesome. Where we live, if we yeah, that's where we should be. High emotion. Yes, we should be par- parasympathetic ninety percent or more of the time. Absolutely. That's awesome. You know, I, I compare it to a, a little deer. You know, you see a deer in the in the forest or in the woods, and they hear something, and they perk up, and they perk up very quickly. They have just shifted from the sympathetic to the parasympathetic. They're on guard. But then within 30 seconds, when they realize they're not in danger, yeah. they relax and they go yeah. back to eating. But yeah, what I w- we do as humans is we shift and we stay shifted. Right. I always, I, I always think of like when you're scared, you go, oh, and then you find out it's all a big joke. You go, ah, oh, like that. Right. And the, right. the first part is sympathetic, and the second part is parasympathetic. So, so I, I interrupted you, and I apologize for that. You said, do something at home. Get, like, a video or, or plug into Guy TV. You said, right. uh, you said, go to the gym and get the lay of the land. I love how you said that. Check out the machines and maybe, maybe look into a trainer or something, I suppose. And then what was the third tip you were going to give us? The third tip is, is where my heart and soul is. And the third tip is to always remember that you can never out-train a crummy diet. As a fitness instructor, as someone that owns a gym, I hear the dialogue in my gym all the time, and the nutrition does not match the effort. Uh, So if you can keep your nutrition 80% healthy, living in your first-generation foods, your clean and healthy foods, always saving 20% for your guilt-free indulgence, you will be nourishing both your body and your spirit, and as a result, you will be balanced and whole and you will come out on the other side of winter, raring to go for a full activity packed spring and summer. Okay, talk to me about, and we only have a few more minutes, talk to me about when you're eating, I suppose uh, you, you probably agree with this, you want to eat dense, nutritionally dense foods. What are some power foods that people can eat that, that will be easy on the calories but high on the nutrition? Well, of course, any of your dark, greasy, uh, leafy green vegetables are going to be fantastic. Onions are actually wonderful for gut health, which is so, so very important, especially in the winter months because we're indoors. We have the heating systems going, so we're dehydrated, which just kind of makes us a little more sluggish, the whole circulatory system a little more sluggish anyway. So gut health through the winter months is very, very important. So things like onions, your fresh fruits and vegetables. As long as you keep your nutrition first generation, meaning that that as few ingredients as possible, as close to nature as possible, Mm, you're going to be doing good. Also, I love juicing. So that tends to put so much nice, rich fiber into my life that helps keep the system moving as it should be. Very nice. Soups, too, I imagine, and smoothies. Oh, soup. Huge, huge soup fan. Yeah. But more importantly than anything else, stay in front of your nutrition, uh, meaning that always have satiating snacks on hand, nuts, um, some nice whole grains, lean proteins. Make sure that you eat those together as well as your healthy fat for just optimal digestion, low optimal digestion. And always stay a step ahead of your hunger because hunger – really is our number one enemy against lifestyle reinvention. When real hunger? Hungry, you're talking about real hunger or mental hunger? Real hunger, like when you really need to eat, or emotional, mental hunger? I mean, you know what? It doesn't really matter. It, it comes across as hunger. 
Uh-huh. So if you can just stay one step ahead, do your deep breathing, um, eat snack every two to three hours is uh, on just your nice satiating snack so that you're one step ahead of your hunger. Um, in my in my Inspired Change workshops that I teach, I teach a two, two-part process. One is the law of inspiration, which is really the only state that you ever want to make healthy lifestyle change within. And the second part is my four-step, re- four-step reinvention process. Um, a lot of folks will want me to make them a diet plan, and I'm happy to do that, but I'm also very quick to point out to them that that's really a phase two activity. Phase one is tapping into inspiration, and once I can get them to tap into their inspiration, they'll want to create their own diet plan. Now, when you, when you say tap into your inspiration, you mean find out what inspires you? When I'm, when I'm t- referring to tap into your inspiration, I'm, I'm talking about just some basic principles, the laws of inspiration that will help you tap into the inspired change that is necessary to really have long-term positive change in any area of your life that you want to see change directed, whether it's your health and nutrition, your finances, your relationships, just your overall happiness. How to use certain laws and principles that are in place and unchangeable to shift your priorities and tap into the focus that you need. Now, you got me all curious now. How, how do I know about, how do I find out about the laws of inspiration? We got to go here. You're not going to leave me hanging. Is this on your, in no, the I'm ebook? No, I'm not going to leave you hanging. If you will log on to robinshay.com backslash okay. book, I will feed you everything you need to <laughs> okay, stay inspired deal. and make the lifestyle changes you need. Well, you fed us all kinds of good stuff here, Robin Shea. You're quite a cook. You're, you're a, a, a spiritual and emotional mental cook as well as a, a physical cook, well, I suppose. Well, thank you, Ben. That is that, such a compliment. Well, no, you. This was a quite an inspiring half hour. I appreciate it very much. Do you talk about this on the air on on the Paula Dean Network too? When you're doing your cooking stuff, well, you can get all of my all of my programming, and I do tap into a lot of the inspirational aspects of lifestyle change through my television program. Uh, so you will get bits and pieces of that. But my workshops travel the country. So are you, if you, when you're in Colorado, are, when are you going to be in Colorado? You know, if enough viewers in the Colorado area download the ebook, then you better believe I will be there in the spring. And where are you from? Where are you out of? Where's your home base? I am home base in Bowling Green, Kentucky. But I tell you what, I've got my all my boys are in Colorado right now doing what they do. They love the mountains. Your kids, you mean? No, no, they love the mountains. No, but you're talking about your children live here in Colorado. My, no, my husband and my children, just they just went on a trip to Colorado. Oh, I see what they you're just, saying. They just pulled out yesterday. They spend two weeks in the fall in Colorado every year. Well, they're going to love it. They're going to love it. It's beautiful oh. out here in the fall. Robin, it's been a total pleasure talking to you. So the book, is, the website's robinshay.com, and the book is backslash ebook? At robinshay.com backslash ebook, and they can get on my mailing list, get the ebook downloaded, and some fantastic recipes. That was a a total pleasure half hour. Thank you so much, Robin. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Great to talk to you. Hope we talk again soon. Thank you, Ben. Take care. Thank you, Ben. Okay, that was Robin. Thank you. Take care. That was Robin Shea. Uh, Her show is Cooking 8020 with Robin Shea on the Paula Dean Network. uh, RobinShea.com backslash ebook for a free ebook. Thanks, Robin. Appreciate it. That's all the time we have for today. Have an awesome, wonderful, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.